Hey, so today we're going to be learning another fiddle tune called Farewell to Chernobyl. This is a really fun fiddle tune to play, and this was actually a request. So this is my best attempt at trying to make a tutorial on this tune. I learned this particular version based off of Katrina McDonald's version on her Opus Flu CD. It's a really cool version. She plays it super fast and she still maintains this sort of hornpipe rhythm in the background. It's amazing. Um, but I'm going to start off by playing a little demonstration of how I've learned to play the tune, and then we'll go into learning the A part and the B part slowly. So here's how I play Farewell to Chernobyl. start by learning the A part. So the A part has a lot of repeating sort of arpeggios. There's an F natural and a C natural and there's also a B flat so that's always fun to know. It starts off with these little arpeggios. It goes with a D, F, A so those repeat a lot and then also a A, C, E so those are usually in little groups of three. So let's start off with the A part. <clears throat> it starts on an open D and it's held for one and a half beats. So, and now we go into those arpeggios. So F, A, and there's three of them. D, F, A, D, F, A. So let's do that much. One and two and. to go F, G, F, E, C, A. So one and two and. And then we're going to go um, back into our arpeggios with this um, on the A string. So let's do that now. So starting on the A, we're going to hold that for one and a half beats. And now we're going to go C, E, A, C, E, A, C, E. So let's do that much. One and two and. So now let's put all of those little three sections together. One and two and. to go A, C, B natural, B, A, G, D. So there is a B natural there, which is a little bit weird. Later in the tune, it turns into a B flat, but right now it's a B natural. So let's start from the A. That part. One and two and. Then we go back into our D arpeggio things again. So now let's put all of those little parts together and then we're almost done with the A part. So here we go. Let's start at the beginning. One and two and. It's a little 
little bit confusing at first, but we'll walk through it nice and slowly. But there's two Fs, like one of the Fs is like a pickup to like the main beat. So, and now we walk up in F, G, A, B natural, C, C, G, E, G, C, C. So let's just do that much with the, let's start with the pick up F to the downbeat. So one and two and... And now we just go E natural, F, E, C, D, C, C, D. So E. So let's start with the with the two Fs. So one and two. part to the A part so let's put that onto the end of what we just learned and then we'll have the whole A part so let's play it one time through here we go one and two and <laughs> exciting and now it's time to learn the B part so normally when we learn um, a tune well not normally many tunes have the A part and it's kind of short and you play the A part twice and then the B parts kind of short so you play that twice so there's like A A B V that's usually like a very common pattern in fiddle tunes but in this case the B part is almost like two B parts it's a length of like two B parts but it's just one big giant B part so in Katrina's version, she plays the A part twice, and then she just does one B part. Um, so the B part's kind of long, but it's fun to play, and we'll break it up and go nice and slow. So um, there isn't a whole lot that repeats on the B part. There is one little section, and I'll point it out when it comes up, but there is sort of this recurring melody, and so I'm going to refer to it as the phrase. And this is what it sounds like. It sounds like this. So I'm going to refer to that as the phrase. And actually the B part starts off by playing that. So um, it starts off with a D on the A string. So that's a third finger. And we hold it for one whole beat. And now we go F, D, G, D, F, D, D, F, D, G, F, E, C, D. So let's do that much. One and two and. So that's going to be, for, be referred to as the phrase. Um, for the next part, we start off just like we did at the beginning of the phrase. So with the D, F, D, G, D, F, D, only instead of playing another D, we get to play any note between a D natural and an E natural. You can take your pick, you can do like a, you could do a, just a regular E, you could even do a D. That would sound kind of cool. Um, Katrina plays an E flat, and so she does this little like E flat rocked to an e, 
to an open E. If you wanted to, you could just do a, an open E and not do any of this weird like string crossings, but she plays an E flat to an E natural, and then we go F, E, D, C, A, D. So let's start with that, um, the beginning of the phrase part, but with the section. So one and two and. So now let's add that on to our phrase that we learned to get the beginning of the B part. So one and two and. that section that we just learned from the beginning of the B part to where we just ended is what is repeated later on in the B part. So that is one of the sections that is um, going to repeat itself. Um, so now let's continue on with the B part. Uh, we start off by playing our phrase again, only the ending is going to be slightly different. So we're going to stop right before we play our C natural on the A string. So um, before we end going down on a string, um, be prepared to pause. So let's start with the uh, the phrase one and two and. We don't want to play a C. We want to stay on the E string with the same finger and play a G, A. So, and now we're going to play another A and we're gonna slide. And then we're gonna play an open E. And then we're gonna flick the E with an F natural. And then we're going to play E, F, E, D. And she flicks a D here. A, D. So let's play that through slowly, um, starting with the beginning of the phrase, but then going into that part. One and two and. So that part is actually like my favorite part. So let's play that, um, that whole B part up until that point. So um, one and two and. And so that could be kind of the equivalent of one whole B part, but we're going to keep going. Um, so now, remember that little section that I said is going to be repeated? Well, now is the time to repeat it. It's kind of like starting with a B part over again. So we're going to start off by playing our phrase and then going into the... And then it's going to change. <laughs> so let's do that section. Um, this is the kind of like the second B part if there were two. So one and two and. And now 
instead of playing a D and continuing on with like we did on the first half of the B part, we're going to play another A and we're going to be doing these like little arpeggio back and forth things. So <laughs> it's A, D, F, D, A, D, F, D. Here's the B flat that I mentioned at the beginning. Up until now, it's been B naturals. So um, B flat, B flat, D, F, D, B flat, D, F, D, C, E, G, E. So let's do that much with the, starting with those arpeggios. One and two and. doesn't repeat again but we're gonna go a we're gonna do this like cool little scale down sort of thing it's not quite a scale but um <laughs> it starts with a G F natural E F E D C D B flat A F D and then we go back into the A part because that's the end of the B part. So let's do that walking down scale part. Um, starts on the A, one and two and. And that actually is the last section for the B part. So now let's tag that on to everything that we've learned and play the B part one time through. So it starts with the phrase just for just for some memory. One and two and So now we've learned the whole tune. Let's play the A part twice so that it fits with the B part and then the B part one time through to play Farewell to Chernobyl one time through. So um, it starts with those three little arpeggio sets. Just for some memory. So one and two and.
part. helped you learn the tune and if it has please let me know I love to hear that people are learning tunes and having fun so thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day bye and so now let's put those three